one. Who are your prospects? Can you share? Those with office requirements. Okay, office requirements. Okay, what companies? Um, well, BPOs. Okay, BPOs. Who else? Multinational, Multinational companies. Okay. Who else? Startup companies. Startup companies. Yeah, the new locators. How about you? Manpower. Manpower. A recruitment agency. A recruitment agency. Oh, yeah, okay, all right, okay. Sino pa? Retails, correct. Miguel? Banks. Banks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Miguel, Jeff. I'm so confused. Na ako. <laughs> How about you? Shipping companies. Okay. So, I think the most important is uh, developers. Developers, landlords. correct. Landlords. They are big. Uh -oh. Malaking prospects yun. Okay? So we need them naman so that we have something to sell. Correct. Correct. And then once you sign the contract, and then you will be leasing it, getting clients. Okay. All right? So, yeah. So we are there. And that's what we do. Same thing with us too. Okay? Uh, yan din ang ginagawa namin who are our prospect multinational companies. Okay? Because they are the one that I would like to connect with. So right away, pag may dumating dito, tatawagan ko kaagad. Okay, I heard that you're opening an um, operation in the Philippines. We are the one handling all the executive research position. I'll be happy to sit down with you and share with you what we do. As simple as that. So right away, dapat alam nyo na kung ano yung mga nangyayari. You have to be aware. You have to be open. You have to go around. You have to get information. You read yung mga news, what's happening. Napakalaking tulong nun, okay? And then, of course, halimbawa kung BPOs, malalaman nyo na ngayon dun. Uh, what's the rate that they're looking for? Dapat pag-aralan nyo na yun. Or you can ask your friends. But kasi they have to be able to pay. Okay? Kinukuha ko lahat yun. Okay? Urgency. When do they need it? Is it right away? Next year? Six months? Or Dapat alam nyo lahat yun. Kasi that's what we do also with the recruiting. Okay? When do they need the, the CEO? Is it starting in three months, six months, or one year? Okay? So you have to be able to, to learn that. Okay? Number one. Okay, again. Define your targets. Who are your best customers? With your with your record, who's your best customer? Um, what companies? What uh, industry? BPO. BPO. Same. Same thing. BPO. Lahat kayo BPO ang yung mga best customers. The landlords. Also. The la landlords. Yeah. What locations? BGC. BGC talaga kayo. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about din Salibis, Ortigas, Makati? Alabang. Alabang. There also. Uh -oh. Like, are you also allowed to do, like, halimbawa mga, kasi ngayon, alam nyo, one of the biggest booming right now warehouse in the south. Do you do that? No, it's yeah. another group. Another, another group, group ang umahawak noon? Yes. Uh -oh. Warehouse. Warehouse. Mm -hmm. Ayun. That's one thing right now that's booming is manufacturing in the Philippines. It's coming They're, back. It's coming back. Okay, so you look into that also. Uh -oh. Kasi maraming tumatawag. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng logistics summits in November. To talk about it. Issues that's happening, booming. Okay? So think about that. Okay? Okay. Normally, when you have prospects, what, how you qualify them? Let's say, sabi nyo yung bagong locator. How you find out that they will like you? How you qualify them? Learn you. Um, I noticed <coughs> that a new business always wants to look for a partner. Okay. Correct. So you are a partner of them. Okay? Right? That's true. So what else? So how you qualify them? How you get them? Okay? First things first, you should um, help them out. So whatever information that you can tell them for it, uh, their work to be easier, then you will get their trust and mm -hmm. eventually uh, they will come to you. Correct. How about you, darling? Well, it's, um, I guess you just you need to listen to their needs Correct. and advise them accordingly. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So you can also add by really understanding what do they want? Why do really? What kind of building do they need? By what's their goals? 
what do you want to achieve and why do you want BGC what's the size what's the number of the people that they want to to put on so that the more information okay understanding or learning their company for example a new company for example Jones Lang Lasal opening in the Philippines right away you go online and search about the company okay search so when you meet that person you can talk about it right away oh I read in the um, internet that your company your head office is in Australia and you have about 6,000 employees you have uh, doing operation da 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 and then that person will trust you you are very informative with their organization okay next who is the person you're meeting you have to find out too what that person's personality but imagine if you have someone a partner from UK coming to Philippines what does he like how he talk how he communicate how he perform like you have to understand all those things so that you'll be ready how to connect to the person because diba may mga ang tatapang you know what happened if you're not ready to connect with matapang na tao takihin ka right or meron ding very quiet yes okay so you have to you have to understand para at least maging kwang kayo doon and that's how you connect with those uh, people okay it makes sense okay oh, you see you I mentioned that industry the company profile you have to understand you have to go online the buyers profile the revenues you have to understand also how big they are kasi baka mamaya yung kanilang revenue is very small and you were giving big office so you have to understand everything okay yung mimitin nyo ano ang kanyang title is he the CEO is he the logistic manager is he the da 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 you have to understand so that when you meet that person you're already aware how to connect and you can easily um, speak okay okay now you mentioned earlier how you get your contract contacts what I did number one I still did uh, do telemarketing do you believe in telemarketing I still don't till now for example I have a position for example I told you I have position in Cambodia and I know someone I'm looking for CIO for example in a bank let's say BPI so I go online I check the name so I say Oh, may I speak to Andy, please? Okay, can you please hold on? Let me transfer your call. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, Andy. My name is Rebecca Bustamante. I'm working with Shelby Associates, and we are executive search. You know, Andy, we have a position in Cambodia right now as a CIO, and I could see that you're fitted with the position. Will you be open to explore? Simple as that. And a lot of them, sure. Okay, can you please send me your CV? And I set up a meeting between you and Richard Mills to discuss the position privately and don't worry no information will come out Ganun lang, as simple as that so you have to be very comfortable to, to really speak listen to that person you're talking on the phone okay if somebody said I'm not interested sure, sure. thank you very much Andy nice talking to you see you around Ganun lang ako. as simple as that then meron ako mga note ngayon kung sino yung mga tinawagan ko mga prospect ko somebody said yes somebody said no okay by just practicing 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 and you should know how many calls you have to do in a day for example I am diba sinabi natin kanina how much your goal in a year so let's say sabi nyo 10 million okay so 10 million how many production a month I divide nyo nga ng 12 for example lang to okay magkano yon? Eight hundred thirty k per month divided by four or fifty two weeks. Well, fifty two weeks a year, batayo. Okay, how much is that? Per month divided by four. Uh oh. Let's uh. Two hundred thousand. Okay, kung two hundred per week. Okay, how you gonna achieve that? Okay, sa isang in one client, what is your commission or production? Average. Paninyo yon. Oh, ikaw yun sa average, okay? Because that's what I do until now. Yung ginagawa ko pa rin to. Okay? So how many um placement I have to do in a year if I want to make 20M? Kasi we do high positions. Kaalam ko in average ang isang position sa amin pinakakuha namin is 1M. So it means I have to place 20 a year. 20 placements yon. So sa inyo. So how you gonna do that? How many calls you have to do a week? 
to close one. Na, 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 it makes sense what I'm trying to, to guide you, okay? So, pag alam nyo na yung monthly, okay? The, through the telemarketing, how many calls you have to do a day to book, let's say, five meetings? Mm, it makes sense what I'm trying to... Can you connect, okay? So, through the telemarketing kasi, my goal is to, let's say, I call 10 to book five. Meet them in person, face to face. When you meet them face to face, yung isa nagsabing, yes, Handy, I'm interested to look at your office in this building. Okay? So, meron ka na. So, if you do that daily, so in a week, ilan ang may close nyo doon? Lima. One a day. Ten to call a day. Meet five to say one yes. So, in a, in a month, ilan na yon? Ilan linggo in a month? Let's say four? Na si yes. Doon sa lahat na yun, hindi rin magsasay yon. Sabi mo, kahit dalawa lang sa isang buwan, but magkano na ngayon ang naikwan nyo doon? Sa production yung yon. Kasi in one building, that's big. Correct? Is that make sense yung kinukang ko? Can you guide? Can you follow? And you can start through that telemarketing na yan. That's just one step yan. Okay. Next. Once you meet them, direct emails. Do you do direct emails? Meron na kayo sa sinabi, yan. And then, how you send? Do they respond? Is it no? Kung no, bakit hindi? Is it your email is like bulk email or personal email? Ayan, ngayon, napakahalaga yun. Kasi pag bulk email, forget it. They will just put in their bulk. But if personal email, then they will pay attention to that. Does it make sense? Okay? Okay. Next, events. All of you attending events. Yes. But how you connect with the people when you go to an event? How you shake hands? How you look in the eyes? How you talk? Mahalaga lahat yun. You have any questions about that, about the events? Because <coughs> use that. John Stanislaw paying is sponsoring a lot of events, correct? But how you, when you walk in, when you talk to a person, Kasi you don't have to talk with so many, but right away, dapat alam nyo na kung sinong prospects nyo. Is it with the managers or decision makers? Pag decision makers, how you gonna talk to that person? How you gonna talk? Good morning. My name is Rebecca Bustamante. I'm from Jones Lang Lasal. How are you today? Yeah. So what you do? Qualifying na yun. What you do? What bis you're in? Kinakualify ko na siya kaagad. Kasi kung hindi siya right, I need to move somewhere. Pag good siya, I'll stick with that person. That's how it is. Kasi sayang yung oras nyo. You have to always say, time is money. Time is money. That's how that will look. Time is money. But of course, I won't tell them that. I tell it to myself. Kasi sayang yung oras. Okay? Otherwise, when you go to an event, dapat meron na kayo kaagad na. You don't have to go. Di ba maraming yung sometimes that they go walk from one place to another? But No. Go and find out kung sino ang target ninyo at connect to that person right away. Para at least meron na kayong prospect. Okay. Okay. Directories. Do you use directories? No. Yan. Marami din kayo dyan. Alam mo, um, halimbawa yung mga PLDT. I'm sure dito sa um, BGC, meron kayong PLDT directories. You never know. Marami kayong makikita. We still use it. Kasi kung meron kami online, kung wala kayong kan, kahit na you can get na online. Googles, PLDT, let's say BGC, makikita nyo kung sino yung mga list ninyo na wala pa. Kan nyo doon. Okay? Prospect, prospect, prospect. And that's what we do. That's how I do the search. Okay? Okay. Next. Networking events. You have so many networking events, right? Sino nang nakahanap ng kwan dito? Prospect from networking events. Yeah, correct. So it's so good. And then how it works? Is it good or not? Very good. You're going to continue? Yes. Prospect talaga yun. Okay, dealing with influential people. Who handles that? Mga decision makers. Yan ang mga target ninyo. Yung mga CEOs, sila talaga ang paninyo kasi sila magsasabi. Pag nahit nyo na yung CEOs, sila na ngayon magsasabi. Okay, connect with so and so. Ngayon, madali na yun sa inyo. Pero when you connect with the managers, ay nako ang hirap, sakit sa ulo. Okay? 
like based on my experience ha itong sinasabi ko kasi when you deal, deal with the top the decision makers wala na sila magagawa doon siya ngayon magsasabi doon but when you deal with this and then you connect with that ang hirap do you experience that Sheila okay so think about that okay um, I don't know if you do with a lot of sales club dito sa Philippines, but ang daming mga meetings sometimes that I, I go. Okay, check that out on you. Attending events, of course. Uh, get published. Sheila been get an articles about her, sometimes on TV. I think you have to start also doing that. You should. You should, you guys. You're doing great. Kasi pag nababasa nila ang inyong mga pangalan, then they start respecting you and believing in you. Like kung halimbawa, Facebook na lang, nasa good mark, social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, dapat kung anong mga halimbawa, you close a deal. There's a company, let's say, ano yung pinaka-close na deal mo ngayon? Let's say, kung lang, let's say, sabi mo, Jones Lang Lasal. Okay. I, I, um, congrats, welcome, Jones Lang Lasal, my new client in the Fort Bonifacio, DR, da, da, da. And then keep sharing that. That's called marketing. LinkedIn. We all have LinkedIn. Yeah. Yeah. Pero you have to make noise, oo. Ingay nyo yun. Kasi din people said, Aba, who is this Andy? Andy go, who is it? Oh, I'm looking for a building. I want to connect with this person. And that's what's happening with Sheila. Like last week, two clients I referred to you. Yeah. Then siya na bahala magbibigay sa inyo ngayon kung sino ang ha-handle doon. And that's what I do. Okay? That's why your name. Ba't kilala na si Sheila? Kasi kasi lahat na nakikita dyan sa is Sheila. Uh, mga pangalan nyo rin, Andy. Okay? Then, but then of course, Sheila lagi nakikita. So you do the same thing. Okay, that is mass. Okay, um, do you believe in flyers? Yeah, you still do the flyers. Okay, that's very important. Also, especially when you go to an events. Okay, katulad dun sa Asia CEO forum, people always get those things. Okay, and I think we're running out. Okay, and direct mails. Yung direct mails. Remember when we give you those business cards? I think you should do that. Okay. When you receive those business cards or mga list, right away meron kayong uh, true campaign or yata yun eh, na it go directly. I-check nyo yun. Kasi you don't have to do it. Basta nakaprogram na siya kung kailan um, lalabas, sino yung mga contacts nyo, i-program nyo. It's automatic. You don't have to worry. Okay? And these are very important. Okay. Next. Okay. How you turn suspect into prospects? Let's say pumunta ka sa event. Nakita mo yung CEO. How can you connect with that person para yung maibok mo siya to go and meet that person? Kasi you have to. Kasi ay magaling ito, gusto kong ma-meet ito. And then na-meet mo siya. How you gonna handle that? Miguel, how you do that? Mm -mm. When you go to an event, you meet someone na sabi mong ganun, Aba, magaling tong client na ito ah, pwede kong ma-meet ito. And you meet that person. How you do it? You don't go directly to selling, trying to sell your product or trying to offer your space. You try to connect with them first. Try to understand. You try to compliment the person. Like, hey, uh, I know you. You're like this and like that, and I've heard uh, you're very good at this. So you try to get their attention that you're just not trying to get to them because they're popular. Correct. Yeah. 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 Correct. That's it. Oh, everybody do that? Okay? And that's what you're gonna do. Because mm -hmm. when you meet that person face to face, look at the eyes, and that person will remember you. So when you call okay, for a meeting and introduce what you have because of the needs, then you can easily. Okay? Right? Okay. Also, when you, uh, when you talk to them, do you talk a lot or you listen? Correct. Yeah. So listen as much as you can, and that's the answer. Okay. Be quiet and learn. Okay. What's it mean is when Andy's talking to me, explaining about their company, and I just keep listening and listening and listening and understanding. I never say anything about myself. And then when that person, like me, because I listen to him, so he will do anything that I would like. Because I make him special. But when you talk a lot, that person will just move out. Sorry, it's nice to meet you. But if you treat that person listening, that's interesting. Wow, I'm so happy. Yeah, so what else? Yeah, your kids. 
And what happened? So you're connecting to that person. And then they will like you. Okay? Okay. As what Bob Bennett always said, a single question can be more influential than a thousand statements. So, talk less. Listen more. Okay? Look, when you arrange the letters listen, you get silent. So, what's that mean? We don't talk a lot. Now, okay. These are other questions that you can use. Why you're, um, why you're moving to a bigger office, uh, Andy? Okay, so you have to ask so that you can turn them as your prospect clients. You have to understand, okay, what's the situation? Why you're not happy with the current um, um, building office that you have, whoever, or with the uh, Collier or DMCI because I know that they are the current company who will look after you. And what happened? Is there anything that we could do? And that's when you come in by understanding and finding out. But when you present already your program without understanding, uh, it's hard for you to close the deal. Make sense? <coughs> okay. So do, these are sample questions. Okay. Ask about the related problems, about the related opportunities, and ask who will authorize a purchase. For example, so who's the decision maker who signed when they get that building? You should know. Then you go to that person faster, easier. Okay. Do you use related uh, solutions now? Can, you car uh, car um, can your current situation be improved by do the, 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 whatever you present? As, um, are there deadlines? When do you want to, to move? Is it moving in six months, a year, or in three months? Whatever. So you should know that, okay? What are your goals that impact your current situations? So why, Miguel, that uh, you think when we place you this office, you think that can a big impact of your company? Then if they said yes, then you have the answer. And if they said no, it means you did not do a good job in presentation. Okay. But what happened if you did a lot of good job and then suddenly you, you expect that they will sign and then they said that I'm not interested? How are you going to handle that? Did you experience that already? How you handle that? How you feel? <laughs> Correct. 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 Yeah, move on. What's next? You know, if somebody already signed, they even sign already. And then you did everything already. Like this, just for him to move. But then I said, well, what's next? Correct. Yeah, correct. The next opportunity you would have with him. Correct. You must establish your relationship. Yes, correct. Okay? But continue to connect with them. Don't fight with them. Don't say anything. But it, well, Andy, I really appreciate it. Uh, I understand uh, where you're coming from. But don't worry. I will be around anytime you need me. Even though deep inside you're galit na galit ka, no? Galit na galit but, you know, because Philippines is very small and they have a lot of friends. And guess what? Because they respect you, they will refer you. Referrals, the napakadali na yung referrals, okay? Okay. Now, when you go through a lot of challenges, how you handle? When you're a prospect, like let's say, you're not comfortable to call someone, okay? Why? Can you share so that at least I know? When you're tele telemarketer, for example, how you start calling? Anybody can share? Okay, can you share, darling? Yes, um, I get intimidated when, when I try to find this needle. Um, parang, parang nagsisisi ako na ako kasi hindi ko alam kung paano ko Oh, 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 okay. Yes. Okay. Sino pa? Sino pa ang tumatawag sometimes but don't feel comfortable calling? Because they don't know what to say or how to answer or what, you know, the, the calls. Anybody? Maybe sometimes it's not you feeling uncomfortable or not having, you know, not being ready with your spirit. It's just you feeling that you don't want to deal with, uh, say, for example, um, 
a person trying to ask, why do you want to talk to yeah, this secretary. person? Secretary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, why were you talking to Ms. Sheila Lubien? Why do you have to question yeah. me? Why do you have to question me? Or why do you talk to me this way? Yeah. So instead of, you know, you're not scared, but then you're just annoyed. Uh, yes. You get treated that way. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to the club and how you handle that, <laughs> right? And I go through that every day. Okay, and who else? Who else want to share? Okay, you share. Uh, I guess it has something to do with environment. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not, it's not, yes, we're going to say it's job, but, you know, it's that first layer. But then when we get through that layer, it's okay. Correct, yeah. Okay, now what I can share with you, how I handle that. Number one, I created a script. So I have my own script, the office. And I practice in my bathroom. Okay, so you have to create that script, okay? Like what I mentioned to you, good morning, I'm looking for Sheila Lubien. So I talk like I'm powerful to the secretary. And they said, who are you? My name is Rebecca Bustamante. May, can you please connect me with Sheila? She's a friend of mine. But I don't know Sheila. So they said, okay, can you please hold on? Let me transfer your call. Right away. Because they thought that I know that person so well. Because I practice. But if I said, good morning, this is Rebecca. Can you please connect me with her? Why? Why are you looking for Sheila? Who are you? Then that's when you become. Correct? But, okay, so what you have to do is create a script. And you practice and practice and look at yourself in the mirror. Okay? And you pretend that you are good. You're the best. Okay? So when you start doing that over and over again, then you start feeling good calling. At the beginning, you feel like you're stupid doing it yourself in the washroom. Okay? But it's okay. That's normal. And that's how, okay, really did something to me. So what you have to do, write that script, and good morning, I'm looking for Miguel, can you please transfer my call? Who are you? My name is Rebecca, I've been working uh, with Miguel way back, and she, he's a friend of mine, uh, I want to say something to him because we have event. As simple as that. Okay, sure. Or if Miguel is not available, can, may I have Miguel's um, mobile number? Because I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then they said, oh, okay. Um, 0917, oh, thank you very much. How about the email? I <laughs> said, the email? Oh, okay, and they said, okay, his email is, um, oh, M, what? Okay, can you say it again? Uh, nakuha ko na yung email, cell phone. And that's how you, you do it. Okay ba yun? <laughs> so you can try? And that's what you do. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, kaya ngayon, if we have clients either overseas, I will call, I, I can easily do it. I'm very confident. But before Shempre, I don't. I, I feel so scared. We're so shy, what they gonna say, what they gonna ask, and everything. But now uh, I'm okay. So the answer is practice, practice, practice. Okay?